Hi everyone, it's Nitro. Happy New Year 2024. Um, in today's video, as you may have seen in the title, I'm just gonna do my review of 2023 and also give you my goals for 2024. I know it's like a very stereotypical video that content creator do, but if I write it down or if I say it out loud, uh, what I want to do and shit, there is like higher probability that I do it. So that's why the video is here today. So let's just get started. Okay, I have just over here a bit of notes of what happened last year because a lot happened. So. so to start with, 2023 started with me being sick on the 1st of January 2023. I guess it's not funny otherwise. But except this, uh, in the first week of January, everything else went uh, quite well. Uh, Job-wise, I was still in Belgium, as you may have known. I moved in Belgium in 2022 and I was still in Belgium in 2023. Uh, job was okay. Uh, it was not like the domain I wanted to work inside. Um, not like for my job, but for like the company itself but I was still like enjoying it. Uh, I also went to a bunch of convention. Uh, I did a bit of cosplay, not as much as I wanted to, but I was still able to uh, yeah, attend convention and enjoy times over there, which was still a, a good uh, moment. Uh, in April, I went for the first time to Fantasialand, which is an attraction park in Germany. And that was just basically amazing. That was my only holidays of the year and I enjoyed it so much. Um, from May to July, well, yeah, it was a bit boring, but everything was still like running and running. So yeah, just just life going on. So nothing incredible happened over there. Uh, end of July, uh, I injured my knee which was the biggest highlight of my year, but not in a positive way, but still the biggest highlight of the year. Um, so for the next three months, so August, September Opto uh, and October, I was basically able to do nothing. <laughs> and yeah, so I was not working. I was at a friend's place, not able to do anything. Like I had uh, a huge uh, stuff, on my knee so I could not bend it or anything. It was a bit of a mess, uh, but in my bad chance, I had still a bit of chance because I didn't need any surgery. So that was a good part of uh, of the injury. So then in November, I came back to work and came back to my apartment and I learned that I was uh, gonna lose my job end of 2023. So basically not a renewed beginning of 2024. So yeah, basically I got on hold for three months, not able to do anything. And when I come back, you eat, you know, it's a lot to digest. But as I was saying, it was not my favorite job in the world. But as you might know, it still pays bills if you have money. And on top of this, I had still my own life, not having to be in my parents' home and everything that goes with not having a job. Um, so yeah, I spent my months of November preparing to move back here at my parents' place in France. Uh, so packing, sending packages, uh, trying to find a new job, trying to uh, negotiate with my apartment agency to get the, to give back the key earlier and everything, which was manageable by the way. And um, yeah, so we came to December, the first day of December, I spent it in the train uh, from Belgium to France with train cancellation, because obviously if everything goes fine, it's not with me. So I was supposed to have uh, seven hours of train in total of my day, and I had more than 10 hours. And basically for December, half of it was uh, working remotely and trying to find a new job and the other half was still trying to find a new job and uh, enjoying family time too because as I was back to my parents place I was able to see my whole family that I haven't seen in a while so that's at least a tiny bit of a positive things and yeah now we are in 2024 uh, for your information I still haven't got a job signed yet but I have a bunch of interview and stuff going on right now, like first weeks of uh, January. So I'm hoping 
to be able to move out and get maybe my job f for like uh, first of February. In the worst case, I would say first of March. So I'm gonna have like my finger crossed and I'm doing like as much as I can for this actually. And um, with this going on, I'm gonna speak now about my goals for this year. Um, I'm trying to keep my goals as realistic as possible some of them will obviously depend on if I have a job in the early 2024 or in the late 2024 the first one I guess it's quite obvious it's to find a job and hopefully one that I like you know because finding a job is a thing finding a job you like is even better but sometimes way harder to do so I guess it's also making sense with finding a job is to move out from my parents place and have uh, my own place again and like feel I have my own and like my yeah, just my my own space for my personal time where I don't want anyone to bother me or shit yeah that's something I am currently missing a lot and I'm hoping to get this back uh, as fast as I can hopefully the first thing is that I want to save money it's not the easiest thing to do it's way easier to say it but yeah if i if i find a job quite fast i plan to save as much money as i can obviously ideally i would say at least 4k if i start working before uh, end of march fourth goal is to create more content whether it's on instagram tiktok or youtube uh, i want to create more content last year i was planning to try to get back to one video a week uh, with everything that happened, in, including my, my knee fucking up, it was not possible. This year, I'm going to try to make it possible. Um, so to, yeah, to upload more on YouTube, try to get back on TikTok too, even though that means cosplay. And for cosplay, I don't want to be at my parents' place. I want to have my own space where I can just enjoy do shit at whatever time I feel I want to do the shit. And as I have parents that works too, I cannot be like, oh, it's 2 a.m., but I have a cosplay idea, I can do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for this to have my, my own place. Uh, same for, for Instagram, most of it will come when I move out because I'm in a place where nothing is happening. This place is very good for holidays. You can relax as much as you wanna, but you can do shit. There is nothing to do at all. Uh, I also want to get back in shape. Uh, that will also, I guess, depends on when I move out. Um, for half of it, I'm gonna get back on eating correctly uh, without uh, making it a dangerous thing for my body, which is the first part. And I want to go back to the gym too, but I don't want to choose a gym before I get a job for money reason and for location purpose. If I found a gym that's in the opposite side of the city where I will be afterwards, it's not very interesting for me to do that. I would rather get something that's a bit closer. Ideally, I would get a tattoo cover. I have a tattoo, which is my first tattoo uh, that I want to cover. I've been thinking about it since like a year, a year and a half now. I feel that it needs to be covered because um, I want to move it somewhere else because the design uh, didn't age really well. So I'm gonna place it somewhere else and I know what I want to cover it with I just need money basically to to do it I would love also to start streaming on Twitch too I've been speaking about this for years now um, I finally have here an actual computer like not a laptop a computer I need to make tests and tries but once again not at my parents place for noise reason and for internet connection speed reason, because this is shit. And I'm quite sure that if I launch one video game plus me streaming, everything crash. So it's not currently possible. I also want to get back more into the dance and dancing uh, land. I really miss dancing. I had like, I used to have with uh, friends dancing time, especially before Corona. So it's a bit old now, but where every week we would meet together and just dance for like two hours. And the last thing I want to do, and this is, I guess, one of the most manageable thing is to do collaborative content with other small content creator 
end of friends. I have like friends that are also content creator and then it would be like awesome basically to make content with them. And also sometimes people that I don't know really personally, but I would like to exchange with them maybe on a podcast version of things. So yeah, basically that's it. That's uh, all the goals I have for 2024. There is a bunch of them actually, but a lot of them are depending on whether I found a job fast or not. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite challenging to get this, but we, we're going to make it. I'm going to make it. It's going to be fine. I got this and you also got it. So tell me in the comment, what are your goals for 2024? What uh, do you plan to do? What do you want to do? And or what do you wish for? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and to follow me if it's not already the case. And I'm telling you, see you soon in the next video. Bye.